Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So we'll try to see what exactly the flooring is all about. Okay, I'll quickly read it out. A high quality concrete floor need not only be level, it should have a high compressive strength and minimum water permeability. Through vacuum treatment, the sulfurous water is removed from the concrete, which means that the water cement ratio is considerably reduced and lowered water cement ratio automatically leads to the improvement of almost each of the concrete properties, which you already understood that. Because the lower the water cement ratio, the higher is the strength and we have seen that graph also, okay, in our basic course. The product warehouse flooring layout to be finalized and the construction and control joints are confirmed based on the floor layout drawing. The floor panel layout of product warehouse is as given below that we already seen. I'll show you one more here. See, this is a panel what they have given. Now you know, right? So this panel, this is another panel, another panel, another. So alternatively, you're supposed to cast. If you cast it, this if you cast this panel today, tomorrow you're going to cast this. Okay, then you can come and cast this. Then again, you'll cast this. Then you're going to cast this. You're going to cast this. You're going to cast this. This is how you're supposed to do it. Okay, great. Otherwise, what you can do is you can alternate like this, 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 this will be casted. Then you can cast this, 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 and this. Got it? Now, here you can see something. See, the one which is red in color, right? You can see throughout, wherever there is red color, that is my expansion joint. Okay? And the one which is green in color. So, these are my green color. Do you agree with me? This green, this green. These are my construction joints. And wherever the dotted line has been given, this is my dotted line, isn't it? These are, they are called as control joints. We'll see the difference in the later part. Okay? Now, this is the layout what is given. So a high quality concrete floor need not only be level, it should have a high compressive strength. Uh, this is already done. Okay, the same thing, whatever is here, the same thing I've added it here, no problem. So this is what I'm actually speaking of. You see here how the flooring has been done. Okay, so in this we have two types. One is uh, normally when you do the PCC directly, you can lay the reinforcement. Otherwise, sometimes what we do, if you're doing it for the industry and all, uh, on the ground itself, you're going to do the WMM mix, that a water mix macadam, okay? Those big boulders and uh, so, uh, stone dust you're going to put, you're going to do the proper compaction. You'll lay the polythene sheet and then you're going to do this. So these are the reinforcement what you're supposed to put. And after the reinforcement, these are the channels what you're going to create. This is one channel, this is two channels. So this channel itself is a width, whatever width I mentioned it here, no? this width. This width is this particular channel, okay? This particular, this channel, this channel. Then you're supposed to put the concreting. And after that, you are supposed to run two, three different equipments so that you're going to get a proper compaction. Uh, there's a dewatering happening. And finally, the green color is going to come if you're using a color floor hardener. Simple? Now. So what are the equipments that is required? We'll see that. First is you require a mild steel C channels. These are called as mild steel C channels, okay? And then you require a level machiner or total station to make sure that we're exactly giving the top level properly. That is your floor finish level, FFL level. Then you require a surface vibrator or double beam vibrator. This vibrator, whatever you can see, it's called as a, a double beam vibrator. Then you require a de uh, vacuum dewatering with a pump and a mat. That means you can see now it, it doesn't, I, I mean, it's not visible now. So there will be excess of water once you pour the concrete. So I need to do the dewatering of that. So for that, you require a vacuum dewatering with a pump and a mat. Then you require a trouble floater machine for the grinding purpose. You require a power floater machine for the finishing so that you get that shiny color. Then you require a concrete pump and a transit mixer to pour the concrete. And finally, you require a groove cutting machine. So do groove cutting machine in the sense, now if, you, if I go back, you can see if this is a flooring, you can see a lot of uh, cuttings has been done here. See, this is one cut, is one more cut here, isn't it? So you can see a lot of cutting. So this is called as groove cut, which you do it later. Once the concrete is set, we get a groove cutting machine. And through that, you are supposed to do that. This much is clear. Now quickly, we'll see the chart, how it is to be done. Now this is from QAQC uh, part, uh, point of view, okay? So it's written here, a typical factory flooring, that is VDF, that is vacuum dewatering flooring is explained in below flow chart. First is WMM final layer testing and confirmation from QC. That WMM is water mix mechanism. That layer you are going to put, properly compaction you are going to get, the top level you are supposed to maintain and that confirmation will be given by the QC department, that is a quality control department or an engineer. After that, the form work or a channel fixing is done. So what is this? I already explained. You can see this channel, this and this channel will be done later. Okay. So after that, what will happen? Form work level check. Once you fix the form work, you are supposed to check the top level of that. If everything is okay, we will move ahead. So this is okay. If it is not proper, again, it is not okay. You go back again, you do the proper fixing of that. Unless and until the QC engineer give approval, we will not go forward. Once that is okay, 
Next, what you'll do? Polythene sheet laying. That means directly once you're done with your WMM, we're not going to pour the concrete. We'll put a, we'll put a polythene sheet so that what will happen? There is no moisture content coming in that, and uh, uh, there is no capillary rise happening through the uh, floor. That is why what we do? We put that polythene sheet. Okay. Once the polythene sheet laying is done, next we'll start with the what is that? Rebar fixing. That is the reinforcement. Usually we go with 10 or 12 diameter bar at 150 center to center spacing. That will mention in the drawing. With that we go. So rebar fixing will be done as per the drawing. Next is concrete laying and compaction. The concrete laying and compaction will be done. As usual, whenever we do concreting, we are supposed to do that. So here the concrete slum check. When the concrete comes to the side, you are supposed to do the concrete slum check. And also the QC engineer will make sure that concrete vehicle batch slip is also checked, which is a duty of a quality control engineer. This much is clear. Next is leveling screed vibrator. So this is a screed vibrator. With this, you are going to do the proper leveling of that. So it's written leveling screed vibrator. Then the vacuum process. Vacuum process is done to take out the excess water from there so that water cement ratio will come down and the strength is going to increase, right? So that is a vacuum process. Then finally, you're supposed to do the floating and the travel finishing so that you get a proper finishing. If there is any excess uh, core segregate and all that is proper, it's going to, you know, uh, grind it and proper shining is going to come. And finally, fill the check card and keep the record. So this is a, a typical uh, flow chart of how you're supposed to do the uh, VDF flooring. Okay, this is clear. So in the next lecture, We'll be starting with the base preparations and other part so that uh, we'll be understanding each of the thing in a more better way. So we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.